Hi there. Um, it's really great to have Andrew Humphreys with me on Zoom, of course. Andrew, where are you based Hello. right now? I'm, I'm in Woking in Surrey. That's where I live. So um, I guess we're all um, working from home, uh, at least some yeah. of the time. So, yeah. Crazy times. And how long have we known each other, actually? It's been about two or three years now. Yeah, some, somewhere between two and three years. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I've I remember you uh, coming in. We used to work in a church in uh, Holborn. I remember mm. you coming for the first time and sharing yeah. that your passion for workplace ministry anyway. So yeah. Andrew is one of our superstars. He's one of our ambassadors for Transform at UK. And just before we get going and, um, mm. and get interviewing you about your role, just tell us why were you interested in workplace ministry to start with? How did that all come about? Yeah, I mean, it's really interesting. I am. Um... Yeah, I've been a Christian for many years since I was a teenager, and I, I, I think I, I've always been more interested in what was happening, you know, outside the church than sort of in the church, and even to the extent that I, I felt a little bit out of place uh, at times. And then, um, you know, but but I'd always thought of work as just something that you you kind of do, um, you want to do something good or worthwhile, but it was basically what you did to sort of pay the bills, etc. And then about uh, about four years ago. Um, you know, I just had a, a sort of an encounter with God, which came through a dream uh, at night when I was sleeping. And um, and through that, I just sort of uh, he he showed me really how interested he is in our work and in in what he wants to sort of achieve through us and and how he wants to work through us through, you know, through what we do day to day. And um, just the whole idea of of sort of worshipping God on a Monday to Friday uh, through 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 my work. Um, just as much as I would worship God on a Sunday in church just sort of clicked and um, yeah and I changed my career and you know um, because I felt God was calling me into um, particular kind of work and and so from then really um, I've just been sort of really interested in what God is doing in the workplace and in uh, you know in and through Christians in their daily lives. So good. So good. I'm super excited to hear that God spoke to you in a dream. I'd love mm. to <laughs> find out more about that dream, but that's for another time. And it's just so biblical, isn't it? You know, mm. Joseph, both Joseph mm. had loads of dreams. So, mm. hey, a man of God. Great to have you on our team. Anyway, how did you hear about Transform Work UK? And why did you then choose to become an ambassador with us? Yeah. So um, after I had that experience, I knew um, I knew that I was uh, I was doing a new kind of work, uh, which is consulting uh, in public services, and um, and that's uh, that's still sort of secular in in nature in terms of um, you know how it's talked about and how it's discussed. But I knew that I was meant to do something more explicitly Christian alongside that, uh, but within the world of work. And so I was it, I was exploring ideas. I was looking for um, uh, a way to do that and. Um, uh, the idea of of connecting Christians up, particularly in public services, had had sort of come to me, and so um, I was I was I you know I felt God was saying to be doing that sort of thing, and then I I just sort of looked at what was already happening, um, and I found the Transform Work UK website, and uh, and I thought, gosh, this this is very close to what I was thinking, um, and uh, and I think then yeah I came to that church in Holborn and we talked about it, and so um, yeah it really felt like oh, this is, this is the thing that God was talking to me about. And, um, and, and so why did I become an ambassador? Well, I think uh, there's clearly a, a structure to that. You, you know, you'd established the role, you'd had a lot of experience of, of working with uh, Christian workplace groups and Christians in the workplace. And so it just didn't really make sense for me to sort of, you know, do something completely separate. Um, and I think that the structure, the team, you know, all made sense for me to... Um, you know, to sort of get involved, make a contribution and also continue to develop my own ideas um, and who knows sort of where they'll go on top of, of being an ambassador. Absolutely. And Andrew, honestly, you've been such an asset to us. We can't thank you enough for joining the team. And for those that are watching, you know, all our ambassadors are volunteers. You know, they have their day job. They've got families. You, I know that you have like a, a prayer ministry in your church where you go out in the streets and things like you're, you're a busy person and that you give on top. And we're just so thankful to honestly all that you've done. Um, so if there's somebody actually uh, like watching this video is thinking, oh, I've got a passion for the workplace workplace ministry and perhaps I should become an ambassador what could they expect you know what is it that you do for us you know mm. how does it take is it a day is it a couple of hours minutes what, what, what's it feel like 
Yeah, I mean, I think um, probably there's two things about being an ambassador. One is that it, it is varied. Um, and secondly, it probably, you know, you can probably do it in your own way, um, you know, depending on your own sort of way of doing things. Um, it really all um, uh, sort of centers on Christian workplace group leaders and, and the need that they may have for sort of support, encouragement, um, help developing their groups, developing their, their networks, engaging with their employers. Um, each of us as ambassadors has a caseload. And so we have um, a number of different um, kind of employers and a Christian workplace group leader whom we support. Um, so for me, uh, I do some locally to where I live, but I also support some others in public sector organizations because I've got an interest in that and, and knowledge of those uh, workplaces. So I can, I can kind of help in specific ways. Um, you know, we tend to proactively keep in touch with our, with our, uh, the leaders that we're supporting. Um, so we might contact them, you know, once a month or once every few weeks, but then sometimes they will get in touch and say, oh, I need help with this. Or, oh, you know, um, the, my employer is asking for, you know, a, um, a business case or, oh, we've been asked to help with the equality and diversity strategy. What can we do? And, um, and so, you know, we both respond to those sorts of things that come up, um, but also like to keep in touch. And it's just, it's amazing, I think, um, you, you kind of see it in, in the, the way the relationship works, um, how much difference, just keeping in touch with people, showing that you care, showing that you're interested in what they're doing, it, it really does go a long way. Um, so, it, you know, even those little things make a big difference. And that, you know, that's, that's kind of sort of how it works, really. So, you know, it, all the ambassadors work differently, um, but it's really about the people that we, we support and, and the result of, of their uh, you know, efforts in their own uh, employers to, to run really Christian great. networks and groups. Yes, yeah, so good. And like just picking up on what you said there, because um, a lot of Christians in the workplace do feel isolated. You know, um, on a Sunday, they're engaged in maybe the youth work or Alpha or going to the Bible study and they're passionate about their local church. And obviously now I think it's on Zoom and they're still passionate about their local church. But actually, even in this time of COVID, we're, you know, doing our work and sometimes you can feel quite isolated. So the fact that we have a team of ambassadors that will phone up someone and say, hey, what can I pray for you in your work? How is your group going? What, what are your needs? as you say, it does speak volumes and that we're a relational network, mm. <laughs> uh, networking organisation. And so our ambassadors are so key to, to encouraging and connecting and supporting Christians on the front line. Let's face mm. it, they're on the mm. front line of mission at the moment. So tell us, you know, you've told us what you do, but how does it make you feel? You know, mm. um, obviously you've kept with us for a few years. Mm. Um, if, it, if it was hard work or actually sometimes it is hard work, but if, mm. if you weren't enjoying it, you'd have just said goodbye because you're mm. a volunteer. So tell us you know what any good news story mm. yeah I mean um in terms of the experience and, and I suppose how it makes me feel I, I love supporting people and I love seeing um people grow and develop and I love seeing people um you know achieve things and be successful in what they're, they're trying to do so actually I, I love that aspect of it I mean yeah I've been doing it for sort of certainly over two years and I think of some of the, the Christian workplace group leaders that I've got to know over that period. And it, you know, it's been great to see them get more confident and um, develop ideas, develop new sort of initiatives within their employers and really see those sort of bear fruit. And so, you know, um, just a, a recent example is a, a Christian workplace group um, where um, I and a few others um, we, we, we developed, um, if you like, a, um, a guide to use Teams, Microsoft Teams, because everyone is not in the office, they're, not, they're working from home, and how you could use Teams to offer the organisation a, a prayer service where you could actually ask people if they want prayer. And then there's an email address and it comes into a, a confidential prayer group. And so we helped uh, one of the Christian Workplace Group leaders to set that up and and that's now going and they're praying for people in their organization um uh, and so and that's just but that comes come on the back of of um of that leader sort of spending time with their hr and equality and diversity personnel spending time with um uh, other um diversity network leaders like lgbt and and the black minority ethnic groups and sort of building up this network and gaining sort of respect and um you know, and being generous with his own time. And so seeing all of that and being able to support him to do that and then seeing the sort of result of it in people asking for prayer and people saying to him, oh, we really value um, your, 
your perspective in a time of challenge because of your faith. You know, it's great to hear those sorts of stories and people sort of, um, you know, people making themselves known as a Christian in the workplace for the first time and saying, well, I, you know, I saw, I saw the, the, the notice, uh, you know, whether it's on, on a notice board or sort of Yammer or all these internal networks, you know, I saw, I saw it and I thought I'd let you know that I'm a Christian or I have been praying, you know, all this sort of stuff. Uh, and those we've seen in fact, two of my, two of the groups that I support both recently had a, a new member join each of their respective groups because they they set up some sort of electronic sort of notice board or network like Yammer. Um, mm. And uh, one person said they set up a WhatsApp group for a new team um, that the organization was setting up, which is national because they, they couldn't easily do that before. It's all based in regional offices. And now they've got a national team and set a WhatsApp group. And this person on their, on their WhatsApp sort of description mentioned they were Christian. And so they got in touch and said, oh, did you know we have a, a Christian workplace group? We have a Christian network and you can join. And so they're picking up members through these things. This is actually happening through lockdown. So there's you know, all these things happening. It is actually really exciting. Um, and, and people asking questions. So, you know, just being sort of part of that and, and, and seeing not just the result, but also, you know, the, the encouragement that it's been to those Christian workplace group leaders, many of whom have been, you know, at it for years, you know, way before I've been involved. Um, and they're, they're really encouraged by what's happening as well. So, you know, um, that's something about the sort of experience, uh, you know, when you have that conversation with someone and you come away and you think, wow, you can really see what God is doing and you pray together. We always pray for people when we speak to them. Um, and, that, you know, it, just having that sense of uh, you're really involved in what God is doing. Um, mm. it, it's so clear um, that, yeah, you're really encouraged and, and sort of, yeah, you just want to do more, uh, you know. Gosh, Andrea, I tell you, you're firing me up right now. <laughs> I want to get back and email some of my groups and find out how they're getting on. And God, uh, yeah, amazing. And it's such a privilege, isn't it, to walk alongside, to encourage, to be a champion of people on their front line, be a coach sometimes and just share good advice, share good practice, which is why as a team of ambassadors, you come together once a month. Uh, we've got a guy called Dave McFarlane who chairs that call and you have to share good practice. So tell us, how does it feel to be part of Transform UK? You've told us what mm. it feels like to be an ambassador, but what about the wider organisation? Mm. Mm. I think um, it, I've always been very sort of practical in terms of, you know, getting on with things and wanting to see a practical result and mm. um it's it's been really great to be in a team of people who who have a similar sort of way of doing things really i guess we've all been attracted to the role um and the ministry because because it is so practical because it is so sort of um you know front line um you know we, we don't we don't sort of discuss theology uh you know or the finer points of of something we, we we obviously do have a theology that underpins what we do but we're really there to to get on with things and to actually if you like build yeah. the kingdom of god <laughs> in the workplace and where people are mm. so it has been great from my point of view it's been great to get to know other ambassadors and to to work with um, with um, small groups on certain projects to get to know individuals, um, you know, when we've, um, we've got something in common with our um, Christian workplace group leaders who need a specific kind of support, we've worked on something together. Um, and just to, just to almost um, just know that you're part of a bigger piece of work that God is doing, um, uh, you know, and I feel like he's placed me into the team um, and, and, and yes, because I have something to contribute, but also um, that's part of how I grow. That's part of um, it's the place God has planted me to, to put my roots down and bear fruit. Um, and, you know, it feels like that's happening. So it's, it's been a good experience to be part of the team. Brilliant. So good. Thank you, Andrew, for your time. And yes, we were kind of like a small setup and um, we really are a family and we want to grow this family. <laughs> so if you have a desire again and a passion for workplace ministry, you feel like God, as you've been listening to Andrew talk, you've been excited about this work, then please do get in touch. Office at transformworkuk.org. And um, you can glean from uh, Andrew when you come on the ambassador call and get to know him and many others like him. Andrew, thank you so much for your time and for your insight into this role. God bless you.